Hey, so my name is Matthew and uh, I'm from North Carolina in the States. And uh, yeah, I came, I came to Peru a couple months back and looking for healing from anxiety, depression, uh, alcohol abuse, and just a, a toxic, toxic energy that was living inside me for close to a decade. Couldn't really figure out how to crack myself open and, 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 and heal that, remove that from me. And I uh, was just so stuck in a very sick mental pattern inside me. On the outside, it didn't look like, you know, it looked like my life was pretty good. I had a good life externally, had good, good jobs, um, uh, support of family, uh, support of friends, people to talk to. Um, every, everything was, was good, but I on the inside was just sick. I was very sick, very unhappy, very miserable. And I couldn't figure out just why why I couldn't be happy with what I had out 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 here in this world. I tried a lot of healing modalities in in the states, you know, yoga, meditation, talk therapy. Uh, even tried you know uh, medication. Um, and nothing, nothing, nothing. Some some of it helped a little bit. Others didn't help and nothing was really helping and uh, I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired so I came to Peru about three four months ago I'd heard about ayahuasca for the past seven eight years I, I was looking for a way out then but I was really scared of ayahuasca <laughs> I read some crazy testimonials and watched crazy testimonials and just was like man may, maybe this can help me but maybe it'll It'll, it'll destabilize me and mess my brain up for the rest of my life or something, you know, just a bunch of, a lot of fear going through my head and uh, really just kind of use ayahuasca as like a last, 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 last resort. And, you know, I'm willing to try anything to save my life. Um, so in, in, in coming to Peru, actually last minute kind of heard about another plant called San Pedro, it's a cactus. Um, it's also known as Wachuma. It, it, I think it primarily resides like up in the Andes Mountains. It's not much of a jungle type thing. Um, although I think some places down in, in the jungle do work with San Pedro and Ayahuasca together. Um, I went and worked with a, a shaman in the Sacred Valley area of Peru with the cactus for about five or six weeks. And got a lot of a lot of healing done with that cactus and and that shaman. I was I was very fortunate to be in good hands, and to to be able to go very deep with the medicine, and got a lot out of it. But I left. Yeah, I felt I felt that the cactus was some very deep uh, spiritual soul surgery, and it cleared just a lot of heavy energy out of my soul. But my brain was still quite locked in it was locked locked in it was dark um, I was trapped felt like I was living in a bird cage still and uh, I left optimistic after I left that experience I left like with with, with a little bit of hope and I knew that experience with all those ceremonies that I did had shifted me on a soul level and it, that, that trajectory was now heading closer to more of a due north direction. But I didn't really know what the future looked like. And I didn't know that there would be gifts and people coming my way from that opportunity to guide me to, to do ayahuasca now versus waiting six months or a year and, and coming to do it at a later time. Because I really wanted to integrate from that, that experience a couple months ago with the cactus but there was just a knowing that the work wasn't done yet and that I'm here in Peru you need to go ahead and pull the trigger on ayahuasca now and take advantage of the opportunity because you're here this is what you came for you came to heal and uh, I felt the call to 
I felt a calling from Aya, but I just I just ignored it because I was terrified of it. And uh, finally answered the calling, and it it was it was incredible. It was magical. I didn't know that my life was going to be changed forever for the better after after working with ayahuasca just four times. We did four ceremonies here, and the first ceremony I drank. Uh, like a pretty pretty uh small dose just standard they, they started they started everybody off pretty uh pretty low and you can ask for more later which i did and I, I didn't go deep i didn't i didn't really trip or hallucinate have much visions but i knew the medicine was working inside me and starting to prime like prime me for the next three ceremonies and uh so i would i wouldn't say the medicine wasn't working i would just say i I didn't feel like I was taken to another reality, but I know the medicine uh, was, was definitely going deep and, and starting to open some things up so the next ceremony she could go in and really do, do her magic. And uh, she did. The second ceremony was, was when my life changed forever and I knew my life changed forever. Um, it started off pretty nice, 20 minutes, and then after that, it got incredibly dark and difficult and this this jungle no longer felt like the jungle in Pukalpa anymore it felt like I was on another planet for 45 minutes but uh, I left the Maloka I got outside and grounded in the grass and then finally started to come out of that that uh, what felt like a spell was cast on me started to come out of that I came back inside to the Maloka and the shaman that night there was two of them but the female shaman her name's Ursilia. that was my first ceremony with her and her husband and my my brain my energy my spirit just tapped in to her ikaros and she sung her heart out that night and ayahuasca was directed away from that dark energy that i was feeling before and uh, it started to shift everything inside of me. And Madre Aya was telling me, this, this, this plan is real. I can do magical things. Your life has just changed forever. And it also told me that your journey is not over yet, but you're on the path to, to being on the, the, the road to healing from this moment on and I could start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and she told me you know this this chapter of your life is, is going to be we're going to be able to close this chapter this dark eight nine year period of your life and uh, you still have a little bit of work to do with that but you're you're on the way you're you're leaving you're leaving the woods and you, you have a beautiful life waiting for you and the future is about to be wide open and it was just like she was telling me all this and my heart was just opening up. I could breathe. My throat was so clenched. I had a knot in my throat for uh, who knows how long. Um, I, was, I was a zombie. I was a zombie walking in here. And uh, yeah, I just resonated with, with Ursilia's Icaros and it was the most magical experience of my life. It was incredible. It was the top number one experience of my life, no doubt about it. And I've had a lot of good experiences in my life. I've been to Hawaii. I've been to sporting events that were epic. I've I've done a lot of cool stuff in my life, and nothing beats that 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 ceremony, that magic, and 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 the shaman's magic that they they just they they put so much love into your soul when they sing, and you know you know you're healing, you know it every time. And that's what wants to bring me back to Namiakaya and to Ayahuasca because the place here is incredible. It's magical. You know, if you're watching this video, come down here. It's, it's the jungle. You're in nature. It's incredible. It, it's the right setting. There's a lot of healing that's been done. You can feel that when you walk into this space. This container is, is really broken in. You can tell this place has had a lot of magic happen for a very long time on this on this property and uh so that that's incredible um 
But yeah, I came, I came in here severely depressed with some sick stuff going on inside my head that, you know, things have happened to me in my past. And Ayahuasca just said, I'm gonna be as soft, gentle, and smooth with you as I possibly can be. And, and it wasn't, a, it was, I didn't suffer much in my ceremonies. They were all beautiful. Even I had some dark ceremonies. Felt like they were witchcraft and Harry Potter wizardry. And I was just sitting back smiling. And that was my darkness being highlighted in, those, in that ceremony. And it was like I was just looking at it and smiling at it and uh, bringing it in, accepting it, um, and, and knowing that my darkness no longer defines me the way it did um, anymore. And so if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, any kind of addiction, and, and you're, you're really suffering in a dark place, you know, get, give this a shot. If you're being called, it, it changed my life forever. And um, I'm incredibly open in the heart feel so much love my intentions going into each ceremony were heal my trauma and help me fall back into love with life again and I got both of those and uh, now I just want to deepen that 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 feeling and start opening my heart more and more and more opening my head more and more and more and that that'll bring that'll bring a beautiful life so I encourage anybody watching this I I've been in your shoes sitting on the couch suffering watching these testimonials I, I did it for like six years i've watched all of them <laughs> never thought i'd be sitting right here talking about my recovery um that you know i've been i've been looking for the answers to a test for like eight or nine years and i got the answers to the test now i just got to fill in the blanks so thank you namia kaya candace matt the f two lead facilitators here are freaking awesome the other four uh, facilitators, they're, they're cool people. They've all got experience with the medicine. They all have a unique story of healing with the medicine. They're, 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 they're very supportive. They're gentle, they're loving. They don't, they let you get in your process and have your experience. And then on the other side, the next morning, they're waiting, waiting to talk to you at breakfast, ask you how it goes. And you develop a very deep, special relationship with all the people here. Um, it's, it's very unique. It's incredible. It's, 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 it's a new tribe for sure. And it, it feels right. So come down here and, and heal your soul, man. That's all I got to say. Thank you.